Yeah, and the addition of the two Maverick players should help on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. A little added energy. Burrell takes it inside, but Lasby swats it away. Rosino getting a, a log in a few minutes last night, John. But it's interesting to note that the Nets are coming off a of back-to-back -back having to deal with a small forward who happens to be from Argentina. He went to the national tryout in New York for the D-League, worked his way into the draft by earning a contract there and having a terrific year as Stefan Lasmi shows his hey, long reign. Three of their last four and off to a good start against the Nets tonight. Speaking of red hot, John, as Lasmi gets another block. Yep. These, uh, these printouts of our stats were red hot off the printer. Not everybody loves it. <laughs> we're not going to name names, but that would be correct, Mr. Fisher. Uh, but but I, I like to see Fish to elongate that conversation. You know, I, I said two words, attitude and approach. Well, one of the things that a lot of guys can't get away with, development process. That's good stuff. Asmi with a big first half so far, and one. Already a dozen for Stefan Lasmans so far. There are plus eight in the turnover margin today. One of our keys to victory to start the game is Lasmi swats it away. My gosh. Control the turnover everywhere. battle. Yeah. Coming up at halftime, we'll have an interview with the Legends assistant coach. Hand off to Moore. A lot of body there, and then the ball. That second effort, whether it be a closeout on the help side, whether it be switching on to a ball handler as Lasmi continues to do what he's been doing all night long. The size of which he's never before seen at a Nets home game. Oh my goodness. Stefan Laz with the floor. Finds Brasino behind the pick. Back to Lasmi for the lay-in. Talk about on time, on target. He gives it up to Lasmi. Here's Brasino finding Jackson. Back to Lasmi. Another lay-in for Stefan Lasmi. 11 points.